I found 10 companies that are always hiring for work from home jobs, and many of them are often hiring worldwide. And the first one on the list is going to be Scribendi, and you're going to be a freelance proofreader. So this is a company that does specialize in editing and proofreading the written word. They're a very well-established company that's been doing this for over 20 years. And the salary on Glassdoor for people working in the US is about $25 an hour. And the range for this one is about 44 to $68,000 per year. So the pros of this one is it can be very enjoyable for a perfectionist and you get to continuously refine your language skills. Some of the cons of this one are it can be very boring sometimes and you do need to be very detail oriented. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be the company Braff in, and there's several different jobs you can do with this company, including digital marketing associate, content writer, and SEO strategist. So this company basically has a lot of digital marketing related positions. Speaking of digital marketing, my friend Seth has a great digital marketing course. He's helped thousands of people get jobs. I've interviewed a bunch of them on the channel and you can check out his free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Now this one is a little bit harder to get into, but they also pay really well. So digital marketing consultants, for instance, in the US make about 100,000 dollars a year. Some of the pros of this one are you get to work in a bunch of different industries. So it can be a great chance to network and figure out what industry you want to work in in the future. You also get to refine your digital marketing skills and you get to help shape the online presence of different brands. Some of the cons of this one are managing tight deadlines and adapting to rapid changes in client needs. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're a fan of crypto. Of course, cryptocurrency, it is very popular, also very controversial, but if you're somebody who wants to work for a cryptocurrency related company, you can work for Bitfinex. And one of the positions that they often hire for is project manager. Now this one has great reviews online and they don't make their project manager salaries public, but project managers in general in the US make about $78,000 a year. Some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to work in the crypto industry. You have the potential to be a pioneer of a new technology, which is blockchain. And you have the opportunity to work with a diverse and talented team. Some of the cons here might involve navigating the inherent volatility of the cryptocurrency markets, and you also have to deal with regulatory complexities. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. The next one on the list is a company that provides sales support for clients, and that is going to be Inksub. And you'll be working as a sales support specialist. So this is kind of like a hybrid support and sales role. And so you will be helping people with their technical issues, but you'll also be trying to sell to them and recommend different products that the company has. And sales support specialists in the United States make about $45,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to work from the comfort of your home, of course. You get to gain expertise in the digital industry, and you also get to learn technology-related skills. So this can be a really good entry-level job where you can go in a bunch of different directions afterwards. Some of the cons of this one is there's going to be a lot of volume. You're gonna be answering tons of calls every day, and you're gonna to have to be very good at troubleshooting technical issues. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next company on the list is going to be Scopic. And one of the things they do is they help people design their websites. So the position you're gonna be going for here is going to be a custom web developer. And Scopic is a very well-established and respected company that has great reviews online. Now, this is another one that's not super easy to land and web developers at Scopic make about $114,000 a year. So the pros of this one are you have the freedom to work from anywhere, you can expand your portfolio portfolio with diverse projects, and you have the opportunity to be a part of a global community. Some of the cons here are you might get some code induced headaches and there can be tight project deadlines. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be an opportunity to work for one of the most well-respected education companies in the world, and that is Pearson. I have personally used Pearson products myself when I'm studying for different tests, for instance, like the PCAT when I went to pharmacy school. I think I also used Pearson when I studied for the ACT in high school. And yeah, they make really good products. So this one is pretty straightforward. You are going to be a customer service representative, but you're probably going to specialize in one of the particular types of education. And this is a very well established company that makes about five to $10 billion in revenue every single year. And customer service representatives at Pearson make about $41,000 per year. So some of the pros of this one are they are very flexible and you can do a work from home setup. You have an opportunity to collaborate with a team of dedicated education enthusiasts. 
and this can be a great opportunity for you to get your foot in the door in the education industry. Some of the cons may include challenging customer interactions and the temptations to stay up late reading fascinating textbooks. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is gonna be one of my favorite careers, which is customer success manager. And that's gonna be for the company 8x8, literally 8x8.com. And customer success manager is kind of like the level up for being a customer service representative. And you're basically gonna be working with other businesses. So you're gonna be working with high level people within other businesses. And as a customer success manager, you can make somewhere around $146,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are are innovative and cutting edge technology, a diverse and culturally rich work environment, and a competitive benefits package. Some of the cons of this one are the industry is constantly evolving, there's a fast paced work environment, and it can be somewhat challenging managing a team remotely. But overall, the opportunity score here is gonna be 8.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is one of the biggest and fastest growing companies in the world, which is Shopify. And you're going to be a sales development representative. This is another one of my favorite careers I've talked about many times on this channel. And you are basically going to be selling products and services to other businesses. And sales development representatives at Shopify make about $60,000 a year. Plus there's usually commission and bonuses. So the pros here are one of the best careers you can get into, especially at the entry level. Sales is a super valuable skill and you're going to be doing impactful work. Some of the cons here are it can have a heavy workload and there can be a lot of pressure on you. Overall, the opportunity score here is gonna be about a 9.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be for the people who are tech wizards. And that is a technical support specialist for the company company, Time Doctor. And Time Doctor is a company that helps other companies keep track of their employees. So they basically install tracking software onto their employees' computers. And in this position, you'd be expecting to make about $49,000 per year. So the pros of this one are it's relatively easy to land at the entry level, you get an opportunity to develop your technical skills, and you get the satisfaction of helping others. Some of the cons of this one are you can have some potential conflict when it comes to managing your work-life balance, you can have occasional technical frustrations, and you need very good self-discipline in a remote work setting. But overall, the opportunity score here is going to be eight out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be for those data nerds out there, and that's going to be a data analyst for teleperformance. And this is a global digital business services company. Now, data analytics is a little bit harder to get into, but this is still one that you can land without any experience. And this company has excellent reviews online. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $77,000 a year. So some of the pros are an opportunity to work with a global leader in customer service, the chance to be at the forefront of data-driven decision-making, and the potential for professional growth in a dynamic industry. Some of the cons are you do have to have very good analytical skills, and it can be somewhat boring and tedious. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Now, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and check out the remote job tier list where I rank the best and the worst remote jobs from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst, and you can check that out by clicking right here.